Ever wonder who you truly are, beneath the layers of expectations, societal norms, and self-doubt? This is the enigma of self-discovery, a journey that leads us to the heart of our true selves. It's a journey that is as unique as each one of us, filled with twists and turns, highs and lows. But at the heart of it all, it's about understanding our own identity and recognizing the potential that lies within us. Self-discovery is an essential part of life. It's the process of understanding who we are, what we want, and what makes us truly happy. It's about peeling back the layers of our lives to reveal our true selves and not the version of ourselves that we think others want to see. The importance of self-discovery cannot be overstated. It's the key to living a fulfilling life. When we understand who we are, we can make decisions that align with our values and passions. We can set goals that are meaningful to us and pursue them with conviction. We can live our lives authentically and with purpose. Let me share a personal anecdote. There was a time when I felt lost, like I was wandering aimlessly through life. I was doing what was expected of me, but I wasn't happy. I felt like I was wearing a mask, hiding my true self. It was a confusing and lonely time. But then I started on the path to self-discovery. I began to ask myself hard questions, to reflect on my values and passions. I started to peel back the layers to get to the heart of who I was, and what I found was surprising, enlightening, and ultimately empowering. The journey to self-discovery is not a straight path. It's a winding road filled with challenges and moments of self-doubt, but it's also filled with moments of clarity, of understanding, of self-acceptance. It's a journey that requires courage, honesty, and openness. The journey to self-discovery may not be easy, but it's the most rewarding journey you'll ever embark on. We all wear masks, don't we? Not the physical ones, but the ones we wear to fit into different roles in life. You see, each of us is an actor on the stage of life, playing a multitude of roles. We might be a parent at home, a professional at work, or a confidant to a dear friend. Each role comes with its own mask, a set of behaviors, attitudes, and even emotions that we put on to meet the expectations of that role. These masks aren't inherently bad. They can help us navigate the complexities of social interaction, allowing us to function in a world filled with diverse personalities and situations. But sometimes, the lines between the masks and our true selves can blur. Let me share a personal story. I remember a time when I was so engrossed in the role of a successful professional that I began to lose sight of my own identity. I was working long hours, prioritizing work over everything else. The mask I wore was of someone who was always on top of things, who was unflappable under pressure. But beneath that mask, I was tired and stretched thin. I was so caught up in playing the role that I had forgotten who I was outside of it. And that's the danger of these masks. If we're not careful, we can get so entangled in our roles that we forget who we are underneath them. We can lose sight of our true selves in the labyrinth of expectations, responsibilities, and societal norms. It's a delicate balancing act, isn't it? On one hand, we need these masks to interact with the world around us. But on the other, we must also remember to take them off from time to time to reconnect with our true selves. The key is to recognize that these masks are tools, not definitions of our identity. They help us to play our roles, but they do not define us. But remember, a mask is just that. A mask. It's not who you truly are. Ever taken a good hard look at yourself, not just in a mirror but deep within your soul? This question may seem a bit daunting, a touch intimidating even, but it's a question that is integral to the journey of self-discovery. This isn't about critiquing your physical appearance or tallying up your achievements. It's about introspection, about peeling back the layers of your persona to reveal the core of who you truly are. But why is self-reflection so crucial? Well, imagine walking through a maze without a map. You'd be lost, right? In a similar vein, without self-reflection, we drift aimlessly through life, without truly understanding who we are or what we want. Self-reflection is our compass, our guide. It helps us navigate the labyrinth of life, steering us towards self-realization and self-acceptance. Now, let me share a personal anecdote to illustrate this. A few years ago, I found myself in a rut, stuck in a job I didn't enjoy, surrounded by people who didn't share my values. I was unhappy, but I didn't know why. Until one day, I sat down and truly reflected on my life. I realized that I'd been living according to society's expectations, not my own. That was a pivotal moment for me. It was then that I decided to make a change, to live a life that was true to who I am, not what others wanted me to be. This moment of self-reflection was a turning point, a landmark in my journey of self-discovery. 
It was painful, yes, but it was also liberating. It allowed me to shed the masks I'd been wearing and embrace my true identity. There's an old saying that goes, the unexamined life is not worth living. And while that might sound a bit harsh, there's a kernel of truth in it. Without self-reflection, we risk living lives that are unfulfilled, inauthentic, and devoid of purpose. Self-reflection can be daunting, but it's the key to unlocking your true identity. It's a journey worth undertaking, a path worth exploring. So, take a moment, take a breath, and take a good, hard look within. You might be surprised by what you find. Once you've peeled back the layers and faced your true self, what do you do? That's the question that often leaves us paralyzed with fear. But fear not. The answer is simple. You embrace it. Embrace your true identity with all its strengths and flaws. This is not a process that happens overnight, nor is it one that should be rushed. It's like nurturing a plant, caring for it, watching it grow, and eventually bloom. You are that plant, and your true identity is the flower waiting to blossom. Think of it this way. When we embrace our true identity, we are not rejecting the parts of us that we may not like. We're acknowledging them, understanding them, and finding ways to grow from them. It's about realizing that our flaws are not chains that bind us, but rather, they are stepping stones that lead us to personal growth and happiness. To illustrate, let me share a personal anecdote. I remember a time when I was terrified of public speaking. I would stammer, sweat, and my mind would go blank. It was a flaw that I despised. But instead of running away from it, I chose to face it. I joined a public speaking club, practiced relentlessly, and over time, I transformed that flaw into one of my strengths. It was uncomfortable, yes, but the growth and confidence I gained from embracing and overcoming that flaw were immeasurable. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to be easy. It will be challenging. There will be moments of self-doubt and fear. But remember, it's in these moments of discomfort that we experience the most growth. The more we push ourselves to embrace our true identity, the more we grow as individuals. So take the leap of faith. Embrace your true identity. It's a journey that will lead you to a stronger, happier, and more fulfilled you. Because at the end of the day, embracing your true identity is the ultimate act of self-love and acceptance. So you've embarked on this journey of self-discovery and embraced your true identity. What's next? Well, I'm here to tell you that the journey doesn't end here. In fact, it's quite the contrary. The journey of self-discovery is a continuous process, an ongoing, ever-evolving adventure. It's like taking a walk in an endless garden, where every turn uncovers a new flower of insight or a fresh fruit of wisdom. It's a path that invites us to keep exploring, to keep growing, to keep learning about ourselves. Think of it this way. We are all like diamonds, multifaceted and unique. And just as a diamond reveals new facets when viewed from different angles, we too reveal new aspects of ourselves as we navigate through different phases of life. Each experience, each interaction, every triumph, and every setback shapes us, molds us, and adds another layer to our identity. Now let me share a personal anecdote with you. A few years ago, I found myself in a state of personal stagnation. I felt as if I was stuck in a rut, going through life's motions without truly living. It was then that I decided to embark on a journey of self-discovery. I started to question, to reflect, and most importantly, to listen to my inner voice. The journey was not easy. There were times when I stumbled, times when I felt lost. But with each step, I learned something new about myself. I discovered strengths I didn't know I possessed, passions I had ignored, and values that truly mattered to me. It was a transformative journey, one that continues to shape my life till this day. So, my friends, keep exploring, keep questioning, keep growing. Because with each step you take on this journey, you're not only getting closer to understanding your true self, but also to living a life that is authentically yours. Remember, the journey to self-discovery is never-ending, but every step you take brings you closer to living an authentic, fulfilling life. Thanks for watching. Until next time.